いらっしゃいませ。Hi, this is r i n from Tokyo, Japan. Today, I would like to talk about a Japanese band called King Nu. King Nu, who is the most unique and influential band in Japan right now.、Um, have you already seen my previous video about Ken s h i o n e z u Japanese solo artist? Sing a song writer Ken s h i o n e z u If you haven't,、uh, please check that out too because、uh, it's kind of related to、uh, this band, King Lu.、Um, in that video, I called Ken s h i o n e z u as Tensai. And、uh, I read again, Ten means like above or heaven sometimes, and Sai means talent. So, ten sai means like、uh, gifted from above. But, daiki tsuneta, once again, daiki tsuneta, the leader of the King Nu is actually called kisai, kisai. Sai is talent. So, then what is ki here, right? And I think most of you might have been heard. Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba anime, I think. Maybe you do, right? And Ki in this case means Oni in Japanese. Oni is a Japanese tradition of demons, and in the anime Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba, Demon is Oni too. So if you've seen that anime, the Demon Oni is the monsters or enemies, that is Oni. And when, I, when we say kisai, ki means oni, the monsters, demons, and sai. So, dai k i t s u n e t a the leader of King Nu is called kisai, which means gifted from the demon. Don't you, don't you think it's kind of like a cool? Anyway, let me tell you about the correct pronunciation of the band King Nu. Yeah,、um, not King New because I'm telling you because I've seen、uh, so many YouTubers, I mean, English speaking YouTubers,、um, react to King New's songs, and then some of them said King New or King King New or something like that. But it's King New, and it's actually the animal name.、Um, I don't know English name. I mean, the English name is King Nu, but、uh, um, I think it's close to、uh, cow or buffer or something. But anyway, it's King Nu, not New. Yeah, just, just, you know, FYI. Okay, now let me tell you about the band members. At first, of course, it goes from the Daiki Tuneta, and he is look like. This isn't this cover is so freaking awesome. Let me zoom this like this, like this. Yes, he is absolutely good looking, huh? Right? <laughs> so, this is Daiki Tsuneta, the leader of King Nu, and he writes every single song s and lyrics too. And actually, He can play more than 10 in- instruments,、uh, including guitar, piano,、uh, drums, bass, and cello, actually. Yeah, he is so damn talented. And actually, he sings too, and he d o the rap too. And so, he is the first member and、um, singer too. So, another vocalist is. Satoru Iguchi. I just call him Iguchi.、Uh, his family name. But anyway, please remember Iguchi. Iguchi is an amazing singer. And、uh, who can sing like a girl. Like a really, really high, high tone voice. He can hit like, a, like, let's say, higher than my voice. I mean, my voice is kind of. Lower than usual girl, like this, you、right、know. But、uh, his voice is so. His falsetto is 
so damn beautiful you know but also let me tell you something about Iguchi are you ready he is a crazy monster he is insane his behavior always makes people surprised or um, confused and sometimes laugh for example he um, on Twitter um, he tweeted to the Pope to listen to King Lu's song or uh, he sent a message to Justin Bieber to hear the <laughs> listen to the King Lu's song or he even uh, sent a, a reply to NASA to listen to the King Lu's song and also uh, when King Lu appeared on the Japanese only one primetime music show called R Music Station and oh my goodness he went nuts but um, those gap of his extremely beautiful voice and his crazy behavior actually charming sometimes believe me <laughs> and now so Daichi Chineta also have this cover here can you see? He is goddamn good looking. So I'm gonna tell you one word, Japanese word, it's a slang. Ikemen, Ikemen, good looking guy. It, this is a slang, but it's really well known slang. Ikemen. Yeah, he is. He absolutely is. Yes. Okay, that's it. So Tsundaiki chan and Iguchi have actually known each other since they were like uh, second grade of elementary school so they were in the same elementary school and the same junior high and then they um went entered to the uh different high school but um however daiki Tineta is one year older than iguchi and he entered the number one art university in japan in tokyo as a cellist can you believe that and actually he dropped out from that uni because he was eager to um build a career as a band members but um i think few of you know the um japanese legendary conductor i mean orchestra conductor named um seiji ozawa uh, he's a really big name in the classical music genre and actually daik-san were in his orchestra this is insane thing and he was playing the cello like this and he, he still does it but anyway so he dropped out the uh number one arts university just less than a year i think then next year, Iguchi entered the university. But, you know, Daik-san was gone at the time already. But, um, when they were like, uh, they saw each other again at the school festival. Uh, and Iguchi, Iguchi's ma major was uh, uh, singing and he was tenor. I'm not quite sure about the English pronunciation of tenoru, teno. And English was singing at the entrance of the school campus. And then when Daik-san just came to the festival to, as a fa for, for the fun, and then they bumped into each, each other. And then Daik-san asked him, asked, asked Iguchi to join his band. Isn't it dramatic? Don't you think? It's like, a, you know, they know each other like a, since they were a kid. And then um, maybe three or four years absence, then reunion, and then formed the band. And at the time, Daik Seneta had already found the drummer Yu Seki and a bassist, Kazuki Arai, 
both two are so technically talented and so um, really great player already. And then um, uh, Iguchi joined and then four members were formed, a band. But at that time, the band name was different. All right, so now, um, before those four, uh, Daichi Suneta, Satoru Iguchi, Yu Seki, and Kazuki Arai, those four became King Lu. They actually changed the band name a lot. As far as I know, um, the name was Tokyo Chaotic, Mr. Spinch, I don't know, I, I think it's German or something, and Sava Bench, I think. And as for Tokyo Chaotic, they used this name only for their short US tour, I think. And then after Sava Bench, they finally became King Lu. And King Lu's success was real quick, real quick. Um, although they were so underground band and uh, uh, musicians, musicians kind of type, you know, but uh, can you guess why King Lu became a big hit band? Can you guess? Okay, I tell you why now. The one of the reason, just one of the reason, just one advice to Daiki Tsuneta. The advice from Tensai Kenshionezu, his advice to Kisai Daiki Tsuneta, which is like, uh, Yonezu Kenshi said, if you want to be big in Japan, you have to put sabi in your songs. Sabi means chorus, chorus part, like, you know, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, like a more, most exciting or most uh, climax, I would say, that part. You know, uh, usually J-pop music has a, what we call A metal, A melody and B melody and sabi, the chorus part, like a most like climax thing and so on. But at the time, Daiki Tsuneta didn't write a sabi chorus part. So I think Daiki Tsuneta took the advice and when he started to write a song with the chorus part and then boom, King Lu with the song called Hakujitsu. Oh my goodness, Hakujitsu became a super big hit. Oh my goodness. Oops. Oops. I think I need another video to ex explain about uh, Daiki Tsuneta's another project called Millennium Parade. And also uh, he has another group which is called Perimetron. Uh, Perimetron is like a cluster, I mean, cluster of creators, whatever, movies or, um, not movie, I think it's include movie or videos or visual, uh, not related to music, but um, Daichi Suneta is in charge of Perimetron too. So King of the Music video is made by Perimetron. So I don't know what to say about Daichi Suneta. I mean, he definitely has a charisma and I don't know what to say. I mean, sorry, I, I, I'm now speechless, but he is so talented. He, and he has a great charisma and he is like God, maybe. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Uh, we Japanese don't have any religion, so uh, we usually uh, we easily use the word God. But uh, I mean, let me just say he's uh, um, gifted from demon, and he has charisma. That's it. So um, oh, one, one more thing, one more thing. So he's Kisai Daichi Sinata, 
And also, I think, this is my personal opinion, but I think he knows that he's Ikemen, good looking guy. And I think he's really, really good at self producing. Yeah. So that's all for today. So I'm gonna put the,、uh, some links to the King of the songs. But I want you to listen at least two songs because、uh, when Iguchi sings, song, uh, sings the songs, And also, Daiki san sings the song, their music genre is extremely different. So please, please, please listen to at least two songs, please. And I'm quite sure you'll be surprised to hear Iguchi's voice and the groove of the band. So, yeah, that's all for today from me. So, don't forget to subscribe my channel and、uh, don't forget to.、Um, Comment if you feel like it、uh, or questions or anything, just bring it on. Then、uh, also, don't forget to、uh, leave the this button, okay? So, thank you for watching and see you guys next time.